Today I'd like to speak about Barbados. Yesterday in the paper I read that Barbadian Prime Minister David Thompson was scheduled to visit my city of Burnaby, British Columbia today. He was to speak at a dinner organized by the National Council of Barbadian Associations in Canada. The paper gave a glowing account of how, ex some, how excited some people are. But later in the day it was reported that Thompson is too ill to visit Burnaby and will be represented by his Minister of Transport and Works, John Boyce, Evelyn Graves, the High Commissioner for Barbados, and Toronto-based Consul General Leroy McLean. I am not so thrilled that they are coming to my backyard. I understand that Barbados is a very homophobic society where lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender people have little or no protection from discrimination based on sexual orientation or gender identity. On their website, the British Foreign and Commonwealth Office says, Barbados, in common with much of the English-speaking Caribbean, has a very conservative attitude to homosexuality and homophobic views are unfortunately common. Contrary to popular belief, homosexuality itself is not illegal although sodomy remains a criminal offense. And according to the Sexual Offenses Act of Barbados, any person who commits buggery is guilty of an offense and is liable on conviction on indictment to imprisonment for life. So there's a potential for life imprisonment for having gay sex in Barbados. With this in mind, it makes me uncomfortable that the leaders or representatives of this homophobic nation may receive the red carpet treatment in my community without anyone raising this very important issue. As a gay man and someone who believes in human rights for all people, I think it's incumbent upon someone to bring this issue up with the Barbadian dignitaries. I'll draw an analogy. It would be like if I had a pet dog, which I beat up every week and then publicized it on my blog. If I were to invite my friend James over, who absolutely loves his dog, he would very likely call me on this mistreatment of my pet and say, what you're doing to your dog is not right. He wouldn't just smile and talk about how great the salad is. I would like the visiting Barbadian officials to know that at least one person in the city thinks what they are doing or not doing back in Barbados is not cool. So, I spoke with Burnaby City Councilor and former MLA Pietro Calandino, who kindly agreed to raise my concerns with the visiting dignitaries. I am very fortunate to live in a progressive city, in a province and country that cherish human rights. I believe that lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender people in Barbados are entitled to the same rights and liberties that we enjoy here in Canada.